Triple, welcome back. Time of the show. We typically hand it over to Ryan PC Trimble for trending. Instead, Colin Hackman taking over the range this morning. What you got, Colin? Uh, pretty interesting story. Did you know today is Pi Day? I do. Because it's I three do. one. Four, right? Not, you know, the pie you eat. No, well, it could be that too. It's uh, a <laughs> or, three. Or Alpha Delta pie, which my wife was in college. Oh, so not a sorority either. No, it's not that either. It's actually uh, the day that uh, we uh, celebrate and express uh, the number 3.14, and it goes on and on in digits. In fact, we found one young man who is able to uh, recite that to over 200 digits off of memory. Take a listen. Seven nine nine three eight four four six zero nine five five zero five eight two two three one seven two five three five nine four zero eight one two eight four eight one one one. On and on and on. His goal is to be able to someday be able to get up to five hundred digits of the unit pi. And we actually have uh, found this young man. This is James Wilt and his uh, 12 year old James Wilt and his little uh, twin brother and sister Charles and Elliot and all of you guys are able to recite pi to some number of digits. How many digits can you recite it to? 201. 201? 50. 50 digits. You can recite pi to 50 digits. 340. Wow, 340 digits. So I guess my, my first question is why would you ever want to know pi to that many digits? Doesn't a calculator work good enough? No, it's just kind of fun to know it. Um, and like if like um, you want to win a bet. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to win a bet, great. Awesome. So not only can he figure out uh, complicated math problems. He's already working the odds. He can take your money as well. <laughs> Good. And so uh, and you guys uh, saw James doing this and decided you wanted to get in on the fun too? Yeah. So 50 digits, that's pretty good. All right, James, well, I'm going to hand you the microphone. We want to hear uh, how many digits you can recite pi to, and I'm going to keep track for as long as I can. Okay. Ready, set, go. Hey, Wes. Hey, Jack. I think you missed a six. No, no, you're good. Go ahead. Oh, Colin. Well done. I don't think you can ever finish, right? Because it's 22 divided by 7, roughly. So it just never, it never ends. We'll finish up to his Very cool. You're good. You're good. Thank you. Congratulations to you for that uh, awesome feat of math power. I think that we are all very impressed. Way to go, the shout out. And you guys, we'll see you guys doing what, a couple hundred few numbers here pretty soon as well. Yeah. Thank you very much, the Wilt family, for coming in. Let's take a look at the forecast for you today. As you step outside, it does look like we're going to see high temperatures today moving back up into at least the mid to upper 50s. Maybe some locations that even get warmer than that. Uh, southeasterly winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, we'll see our high in Wilmington right up at about 59 degrees. Overnight low temperatures tonight uh, back down into the uh, 40s. It looks like uh, right about 49 degrees. And then we'll see high temperatures getting up into the 70s for what will be a beautiful looking Saturday. Our our uh, overnight low temperatures then continue to be a little bit warmer. Now, I want to talk about the rain chance for you. As we move into Sunday, you'll notice here 6 a.m. Some showers start to approach the area, but I think they stay to the west until at least midday. And we'll see those showers and the shower chances picking up as we head into the afternoon. So high temperature today, 59 degrees tomorrow, 72 degrees, back up to 66 degrees during the afternoon on your Sunday. A 60% chance for showers as we head into your St. Patrick's Day. We'll see high temperatures right there at about 64 degrees with overnight lows in the 40s and 50s. Looks like a pretty good forecast here as we move through the weekend. Don't forget this weekend as well. It is the 13th annual Black Film Festival in downtown Wilmington. They have a brunch at 10 a.m. over at the Community Arts Center. Uh, you can uh, go in there or uh, if you uh, are looking for some other outdoor type activities, of course, uh, this weekend, the Riceville Beach Marathon. That starts Sunday. Should uh, see the rain hold off until after the heart of the race finishes.